Hello everyone, this is Raja Kahal and today there is a new update, a very interesting one for the RK 3D printer. Um, first, I'm using now Bowden, I removed uh, the Nimbles extruders. Uh, this were for uh, Chimera, E3D Chimera, but I removed it and I did my own version of tool changing uh, setup. Uh, and also I installed a Dewitt, Dewitt 3D. So, the most important things in this video are the Dewitt Wi-Fi. Uh, it's the greatest I've seen so far for the the Z setup three lead screws with three uh, guides linear guides are the best because you know I tried a lot of stuff I tried with built Z with built and I tried with bolt bolt screws and uh, too many things so uh, the lead screws and uh, do it Wi-Fi I now made my own uh, tool changer version this is the version one I made three magnets here like this magnet like like this one uh, it was nice but uh, it wasn't strong enough and it was slipping you know when, when this one is is here it's slipping so this is the base this is this part is this one here not the white, the other one. It's fixed to the uh, carriage. Then I made a better one with only one magnet and one on the other side with three contacting point joints. Uh, as you see here are normal screws. It's just a prototype. It was much better than this one okay so this was much better than this one but I, I noticed with, with, with this one when is uh, when there is uh, some force like if I do like this strongly I can uh, move it but it it, uh, it it returns to its position but I didn't like it to be moving so now the third one let me first show you how will it work let me park it so here I have to my push park and select for T1 the tool one but uh, later I will add uh, like laser laser head another material another color maybe three four ones I'm not sure but for sure I will have two as a start so let's see let's park it Now let's select it again. Again. Uh, the speed is very slow. I I uh, I managed to uh, to make it run at more than 300 millimeters per second, two seconds. So it can be much faster than this. Select. Okay, now I will show you what is here. Let's first move. Uh, okay. So, here is the new one. It's two magnets. Uh, and three joints with two magnets and three smooth joints not normal screws they are actually actually screws but uh, with a smooth area uh, one problem that I solved as well when I had this setup and the fan was here this small pen 
30, uh, 30 by 30 millimeters. Uh, it was stopping, stopping, uh, rotating, stopping running when when these two are together, when are when they are joined because of the magnetic field. So I tried to play with the magnets in the, the new setup. So like, for example, this is north and this is south and here are the opposite. So when they are connecting, now the magnetic field is not spreading like this all around, like when there is only one magnet. Here there are two magnets, so the magnetic field are going from one back to the other one, to this one, down, and back to the first one. So it's a circle between these four magnets. Even if only, if only two, also it's the magnetic field lines are cir circulating like this. So they are not spreading, spreading around to stop the fan. So now the fan is running without a problem. Uh, two things I forgot to sh show you. Uh, here, this one is for uh, cleaning the nozzle. Just a normal tool for like this spinning, uh, spinning motor. I don't, I don't remember what what it's called in English. Anyway, you see this, this stuff here. So, it's one of them. I filled it with uh, thermal silicone. So, the nozzle comes here, brushed and blocked by the silicone. So, no oozing and no bubbles or other uh, plastic stuff on the nozzle. So, and it's easily, easily ripped replaceable uh, and also the the joints here three joints and four magnets the four magnets are not touching each other there is a very small space I don't know if you can see it this very small space gap like 0 0.5 millimeter or so it's to, to ensure that the magnets are not touching so you, there is only three points touching between here and here this is for precision and uh, accurate positioning so when you, when there is only three points are contacting uh, it will be much more accurate so i didn't want the, ma the magnets to be touching and uh, here also you can see how strong this thing is uh, I actually can't move it by hand it's impossible to move it by hand but see how it's, it's rigid the printer the whole printer is moving and this thing is not moving alone so it's very strong See. sorry for the recording the light and the stuff but uh, you got the idea so, very strong. This is uh, everything so far. Uh, a lot of things uh, went uh, very nice. And uh, I'm not sure what next. Next, I, uh, I just want to finish these things here and clean the wiring. Also, I will finish the enclosure. Here we'll have, uh, you can see everything, all these files here, they're all for free in the link below the video on Thinkverse. The, the CAD files. So you can convert them to STL or to CAD, edit them, do whatever you see. Uh, the enclosure will be high like this. And here we'll, we'll have a few spools this way. So the spools will be inside and also more spools as as uh, it will work as a, a dryer because of the heat inside so you can use it as a dryer for your spools so your spool, spools will always be dry uh, this electronics here will uh, you can see in the design they are all moved to back there is a printable uh, box in the back after the enclosure so 
the, they don't get warm and they everything is organized I think that's it for now if you have any comment or question just drop me a comment see you and bye bye